Army Ranger Jackson Briggs is tasked with bringing the K-9 unit Lulu to her fallen soldier's funeral. He soon learns that dogs suffer just as much from war as humans do. This is Dog. Dog is yet another film in the genre I like to call dog cinema. What is dog cinema? Well, it's pretty self-explanatory. They're just movies about dogs. Like Marley and Me. And the Shaggy Dog. And... John Wick. What do you mean that doesn't count? There's a dog in that movie. However, this film was marketed as a buddy comedy movie, but I don't feel like that's the case at all. And I'm not going to say that's a bad thing. Channing Tatum plays Jackson Briggs. No, no, not that Jackson Briggs. Though, I'd watch a movie with that Jackson Briggs and a dog any day. I think that'd be cool. I've always enjoyed Channing Tatum in comedies. I think 21 and 22 Jump Street are one of my favorite comedies of all time. Hashtag make the gambit movie. That's my Snyder cut. And I have to say, he delivers a lot of great comedy in this film on top of some really good dramatic moments. The character Channing Tatum plays suffers heavily from PTSD. I think he delivers a fantastic performance as someone with PTSD, and he also does it very tastefully so it just doesn't come off as funny. Keep in mind, a good portion of his performance is comedically driven, but I wouldn't say any of his PTSD scenes are funny at all. They're actually very emotional and very well done in my opinion. Channing Tatum's co-star is a bit shorter and doesn't talk as much as she's a dog, as the title suggests. For the sake of this review, I'm just going to refer to the dog as Lulu, as that's the name of the dog in the film. Uh, in fact, I think judging by the credits, um, three different dogs played Lulu throughout the film. And honestly, had it not been for the credits, I wouldn't notice. So they got some, uh, some damn good casting directors for a dog in this film. Lulu, on top of being the goodest girl in the film, is a great co-star to Channing Tatum's character. They were both kindred spirits. They were both f wounded physically and mentally by war. And I think the film does a really good job at depicting that through the human character and the dog character. I can see where the film's marketing might confuse some people, because I don't think the film is as comedy-heavy as the trailers might let on. The scene with Channing Tatum pretending to be a blind person might be the most funny thing in the film, and but that's in the trailer, though. So at its core, though, this film is more so about PTSD and how it affects people. It's done very well, though, I have to say. It can be challenging to tackle an issue like PTSD and not come off as callous or mean-spirited in a way, especially in a comedy. But again, I don't think any of the film was at all laughing at PTSD. That isn't to say the film is lacking in comedy. I think there's a lot to the film that is funny. But again, at its core, I don't think the film was ever designed to be a full-fledged buddy comedy like the marketing suggests. This film does something that I'm personally not too big on, and that is force the shenanigans to happen. By that, I mean Channing Tatum's character uh, constantly goes out and does things instead of just driving the dog to the funeral. Like he goes to a a nightclub, he goes to a shooting range, which I kind of thought was a bit odd. She tries to leave the hotel that he's pretending to be blind at. I thought it would just be easier for him to just stay in the hotel room, just, you know, spend the night, but he just had to leave for some reason. He doesn't say why he's leaving, but for some reason, all of those scenes lead to some kind of shenanigans with Channing Tatum and Lulu. And I just felt all of those could have been avoided if he just kind of just drove, but I got then you wouldn't have a movie. So it's a catch 22 kind of thing. If you go the route that's sensible, you don't have an enjoyable movie. But if you go the route that is enjoyable, you don't have a sensible movie. This is something I was thinking about while watching the movie. And I just have to ask, and it's really just a question, really. It's nothing critical about the movie. And I'm just curious to see if anyone wants to reply to it. But how do real life people who suffer from PTSD view movies about PTSD? Um, because I um, don't imagine they're going to enjoy watching a movie about people suffering from it, though. In the time of representation that we live in, it, that just seems like one that people who suffer from that wouldn't want to see. I don't know. That's just something I was thinking about watching this movie. Uh, again, not a knock on the movie. I think, I think the way the movie handles it is very well done. But again, to anyone with PTSD, it just might hurt them. I don't know. That's something to think about. If you're a dog lover like most sensible people, then I can imagine you'll enjoy this movie. It's got a good lead, it's got a good dog, it's got a good story, and by the end of it, it will definitely hit you with the feels. I hope you all enjoyed this review, and if you did, please hit that like button, and if you want to see more, click the subscribe button and be sure to ring that bell. Until next time, I'm Quentin Dunaway, and this is Big Bear. We're telling you to keep it cinematic. Oh, man!